Hi everyone, I'm Shima. Welcome back to our channel. So, um, we know everyone are quite familiar with the relationship between clear water with the circulation system and bioflock. So, in this video, we will share with you on uh, other popular technology in aquaculture, which is aquaponics. <laughs> So aquaponic is a form of agriculture that combines raising fish in tanks with soilless plant culture. Aquaponic also applied to fresh and marine water. So some of the frequently asked question is how does aquaponic work or does it need high technology instrument? So a variety of vegetables have been planted with aquaponic methods. Some of it is tomatoes, pepper, cucumber, beans, peas and cauliflower. On our farm, we separate the fish heads during the feed preparation for the crab. You can refer to our previous video on step-by-step -step feed preparation for vertical mud crab farming. However, we do not throw the fish head. We use it for feed our marble gobi or sun hawk fish. The marble gobi can be found in Cambodia, Fiji, Indonesia, Malaysia and Philippines. These species can be cultured by monoculture or polyculture with talapias. This fish is not a picky eater like crab. Those feeding with fish head should be okay to provide enough nutrients for them. Besides, we also can sustain the use of the fish. So different from clear water and bioflock technology, aquaponic will utilize the plant as the ammonia removal. Ammonia comes from the uneaten feed and waste products from the fish which will be assimilated into the plant cell for their growth. As the plant needs nutrients for its growth, the concept in aquaponic is they will use the waste from the fish as their nutrient at the same time will remove the toxic ammonia from the water. In this case, both plants and cultured animals will be benefit from each other. If plants are not growing, it could be because not enough ammonia is being produced in the system. Enough ammonia must be produced and converted to nitrate for the plants in your system to grow. So there are a few advantages to the aquaponic system. First of all, it's low water and power supply usage. You need the electric power only for the pump and the aeration. Second is no chemical use. Land-based plants usually need pesticides and fertilizer. While in aquaponics, the use of chemicals for the plant will be harmful for the fish. In this case, we will have our crop fully organic and safe for the human consumption. Other than that, multiple crops and fish can be grown at the same time. You can expand the culture area according to your preferable capacity. So take note that the ammonia production must be able to be regulated by the plants so that the ammonia level will be at the optimum level. However, there are also disadvantages and issues with the aquaponic system. This function of any pump or aeration would probably lead to the failure of the whole system. If no fast action is taken to solve the problem, you might lose your fish production. In this case, the dissolved oxygen level must be enough for your fish. The second advantage is fish will only solely depend on the aeration system efficiency in your aquaponic setup. So different from the fish, plants need an optimum pH level to grow faster and healthy. Ideal pH for aquaponic systems should be around 6.8 to 7.2. On the other hand, plant grows the best with the pH below 6.5. It needs good understanding for both fish and plants so that the pH level does not affect their growth. You can either choose to culture freshwater, brackish or marine water organism, but make sure that your culture animal and plants can tolerate the same salinity. There has been a wide application of aquaponics for vegetables and freshwater fish like tilapia, catfish, carp and others. So for marine aquaponics system, usually people will combine marine fish, shrimps, lobsters and edible seaweed production as seaweed consumption also proved to give benefit to human health so seaweed production also gains so much attention nowadays so that's all for a short sharing about the aquaponic system we hope the content widen your perspective and help you to make better decisions thank you for watching